The oil pressure sensor is its function. It monitors the pressure of the engine oil continuously and warns you immediately if any defect or problem in the pressure level. Maintaining the oil pressure in the ideal position is a basic thing because the engine works efficiently and lives with you longer without problems. And because the internal engine components are always exposed to high temperature and great friction during operation, it must have continuous and sufficient lubrication that prevents the erosion of the parts and keeps the oil pressure. He watches all this and sends a direct signal to the meters panel to alert you if a defect in the oil pressure occurs. This gives you an opportunity to act quickly before the breakdowns grow and its cost becomes high. What are the signs of oil pressure sensor? When there is a problem with an oil pressure sensor often, you will notice that the oil pressure warning bulb lights up in the drum, even if the oil level is normal and there is no actual problem in the engine. Also, one of the signs of the sensor damage is that it may give you inaccurate readings of the oil pressure. This may make you think that there is a defect in the lubrication system and it is in fact a defect in the sensor itself. These are the most common signs that indicate the oil pressure sensor damage. 1. The appearance of an oil pressure warning bulb. Sometimes if the oil pressure sensor begins to weaken or event, it will be damaged, you will find the oil pressure warning bulb shining in the drum. As if there is a real problem in the lubrication system. To make sure if the problem is actually in the oil pressure or in the sensor. The first thing you must do is to check the level of the oil using the measure you replace it as soon as possible before you are driving. 2. Flashing the oil pressure bulb continuously. In some cases, you will notice that the oil pressure warning bulb lights up frequently while driving. This is of course very annoying and may cause you to destroy you, although the frequent examination of the oil level is exhausting. But it is a necessary step in order to make sure that the oil level is really normal and there is no leakage or deficiency. And if you find that the oil level is normal and the bulb still lights up and is constantly emerging, the problem is most mostly in the oil sensor. Time to avoid any fake warnings while driving. 3. The oil compression meter index on zero. In modern cars, an oil pressure sensor works with an electronic system. As for the older cars, it depends on a real mechanical meter meter for measuring pressure. If you notice that the oil pressure meter indicator is dependent on zero, even though the oil level is normal and sound. This is often evidence that the oil pressure sensor itself is damaged or works unnaturally. Also, sometimes the indicator remains fixed on zero or suddenly rises and a reading of high pressure appears in an exaggerated manner or continues to move strangely and irregularly. And all this is caused by a defect in the sensor. And the solution is that it changes to make sure that the readings of the oil pressure are sound and do not expose the engine to any problems. So what are the reasons for the oil pressure light to come on? One, low engine oil. When the engine oil level is low, it's perfectly normal for the oil pressure light to come on, warning you that there's a problem. Engine oil must be changed regularly and at the time specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Delaying an oil change over time causes the oil level to gradually decrease, whether due to evaporation, leakage, or the engine consuming some of it during operation. If you continue to neglect changing the oil more than once, You'll be surprised one day when the oil pressure light comes on, and then the problem will have already appeared. To avoid this situation, especially in the Gulf countries or the Middle East in general, it's best to change the engine oil every 5,000 kilometers or every six months, whichever comes first. This step will ensure that the oil is always clean and reaches all engine parts in adequate quantities, providing complete lubrication and protection, thus preserving your car's engine for the longest possible period without problems. 2. Engine wear. When engine parts wear out, the clearance between components begins to increase beyond normal, directly affecting oil pressure. As the oil moves through the engine, it passes through narrow openings and clearances, 
Therefore, the oil pump can create adequate pressure to ensure that all parts receive adequate lubrication. However, if internal components begin to wear out, this clearance will increase. This causes the oil to flow more easily and quickly than required, causing pressure to drop even if the oil level is intact. The faster the engine rotates, the more oil pumped to maintain pressure. However, with wear, it becomes very difficult to maintain normal pressure because the openings through which the oil passes have become wider than normal. Therefore, engine wear is one of the reasons that can cause oil pressure to drop, even if you maintain the correct oil level and change it on time. 3. The oil pressure sensor is damaged. As we explained earlier, if the oil pressure sensor begins to show wrong readings, you will find the oil pressure warning bulb lighting up on the drum. Even if there is no real problem in the pressure of the oil itself. The topic here is simple because the function of the sensor is that it monitors the pressure continuously. And any defect in its readings makes you think that there is a problem in the engine and in fact the holidays in the sensor itself. So if you notice the oil bulb lightly and there is no strange heat, the oil level is normal. Often the reason is the oil pressure sensor damage and you will need to change it immediately. For the oil filter is damaged. The oil filter has a very important role in maintaining the cleanliness of the oil and the quality of its flow inside the engine, thus maintaining the oil pressure at the appropriate level. But if it is exposed to the blockage due to the accumulation of dirt and impurities, this makes the passage of the oil more difficult and thus the flow of oil will be affected inside the engine. In this case, the pressure may increase in some places due to the blockage of the path and at the same time the amount that reaches the engine will decrease. This of course will make the oil pressure warning bulb to light for you you warn you of a problem. Therefore, it is important to follow the condition of the oil filter and change it regularly with every periodic oil maintenance. In order to avoid these problems and keep the oil pressure fixed and natural inside the engine. 5. Oil Viscosity The viscosity of the oil is an essential factor that directly affects the pressure of the oil inside the engine. If the high viscous oil is any thick, it will not flow easily between the parts of the engine. This makes the pressure higher than normal, especially the time of the engine, which is cold. And if the oil is low, that is, very light, it will move easily and quickly, but the pressure will be less than what is required, and this also may cause problems in the lubrication. Also. Choosing the viscosity of the oil is affected by the temperature with it. For example, in hot areas such as the Gulf, you should use a suitable viscosity oil that bears high temperatures. In cold areas, it is preferable for lighter oil to be easy to flow at the time of cold operation. Therefore, you must always choose the type and wife of the recommended oil in the car booklet according to the climate of your area in order to ensure the pressure of stable oil and complete protection of the engine. 6. Damaged Oil Pump The oil pump is the beating heart of the engine's lubrication system. It's responsible for generating the proper pressure that keeps the oil moving steadily and smoothly between all engine parts. The pump draws oil from the oil pan and pumps it toward the oil filter. The oil then travels through narrow passages to reach every part inside the engine that needs lubrication. After completing its cycle, it returns to the oil pan and the process begins again. However, when the oil pump begins to weaken or becomes damaged, it can no longer pump oil efficiently. This causes a drop in oil pressure, which in turn prevents sufficient oil from reaching the internal parts. As a result, you'll notice the oil pressure warning light appear. You'll likely notice the engine sound changing or you'll notice a strange noise during operation. All of this is clear evidence that the pump is in poor condition and should be checked or replaced immediately before it causes further damage to the engine. Why does the oil pressure warning light keep flashing on and off? If you notice that the oil pressure light comes on and off while driving, this means there is a problem that must be addressed immediately. Sometimes, if the oil light comes on and off while you are stopped or the engine is idling, this is often because the oil pressure is lower than normal or the oil pressure sensor itself has a problem and is giving an inaccurate reading. In this case, you should know that the oil pressure at idle should be at least 5 psi. If it is lower than this, the light will come on to warn you that the pressure is low and the danger may be great if the situation continues. If the light flashes while driving the car, this most likely means that the oil level itself is low. The quick solution is to stop immediately and check the oil level using the dipstick. If you find that the oil is low, 
add the recommended amount. Usually, after adding oil, you will notice that the light has gone out. This means that the problem was simple and just a low oil level. If you add oil and the light is still on, this may be evidence of wear on internal components in the engine or another problem that requires a technical inspection. The best way to avoid this the problem from the beginning is that you have to maintain your car's regular maintenance, especially changing the oil and filters on time, because neglecting oil pressure can cause significant and costly damage to engine components over time. At the end of our episode, we have explained the most important signs of a damaged oil pressure sensor and the reasons for the oil pressure warning light to appear so that you are aware of them and can act quickly if you encounter this problem and can determine whether you need to repair or replace it. Thank you for following us and wait for us in a new episode.